Sure, are you ready to go? Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as I present to you the first probationary EMT training class of 2020. Please remain standing as FDNY Chaplain Reverend Ann Cansfield delivers the invocation. Good morning, class. Please pray with me. Loving God, we give you thanks for this day, for these new EMTs who have answered your calling to serve and care for their fellow New Yorkers. We praise you for their tenacity and dedication. We thank you for everyone who helped them on their journey to this moment, for family, for friends, for teachers, for professors, for instructors and mentors. Be with each of them now as they are the angels of our city. Protect them, keep them safe and healthy. May they always know how much their work matters to the people they help. And may they always feel supported and appreciated, both by their fellow members in this department and by the city they serve. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Cansfield. Please be seated. Take seats. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now live stream a short video for our families and friends watching at home. Since 1865, there has been one organization protecting life in our great city. One group that trains to meet these life-saving challenges head on. Ensuring the safety of all who visit and live in New York City. One, One department, department that answers every call for help, no matter the dangers and no matter the cost. We are the world's busiest and best emergency medical service, responding to more than 1.7 million incidents a year. Responding with the best training and compassion possible. We, we serve, serve with, with honor, courage, courage, and dedication. And dedication.
Good morning and welcome. I am Battalion Chief Mark Aram, the Executive Officer to the Fire Commissioner, and I would like to welcome you all to today's graduation of the first probationary EMT training class of 2020. Have a nice round of applause for our graduates. This is the FDNY's first live streamed and social distanced EMT graduation. I would now like to introduce the first speaker, our fire commissioner, Dan Nigro. Thanks. Well, good morning and congratulations to all of our new emergency medical technicians. This graduation ceremony is a departure from our normal ceremonies, but then again, this entire year has been a departure from normal. We've not had much to cheer about this year, but today is different. We have something to cheer about, each and every one of you. I'm really proud of every one of you. To families and friends and loved ones of our graduates watching from home, I want to welcome you not only to this remote ceremony, but also into the FDNY family. Your support has surely meant the world to our new EMTs, and we thank you for all you have done to help them reach this important moment in their new careers. Before I talk about our graduates, I just want to talk about the incredible work that has taken place here at the EMS Academy. This is where FDNY EMTs and paramedics learn to save lives every single day. On top of the great work they normally do, during the height of the pandemic, this became the largest EMS station in the city with hundreds of units leaving Fort Totten each day to respond citywide to the most medical calls in the history of New York City. And during that time, they continued training and educating the next generation of EMS members as well. It's just extraordinary what took place here. And I'd ask our graduates to join me in a round of applause for all the instructors here who do so much for our department and for our city. Now to our graduates. The road you have taken this year has surely been a difficult one. After September 11th and the catastrophic losses our department suffered, many wondered if there would be difficulty finding people willing to do the dangerous work required to save lives in our city. That same question was asked after this past March and April when COVID-19 ravaged our city and placed the men and women of our department, in particular our EMTs and paramedics, on the front line of this deadly pandemic. Nineteen years ago, people stepped up and joined this department because they had a passion and drive to serve others 
and to protect this city. And now, looking out at this group, I see brave young men and women with that same passion and drive to serve, to protect others, to respond, to help those in need, and to save lives in New York. You witnessed the extraordinary work of our EMTs throughout this pandemic, responding to a record number of medical emergencies while battling an invisible enemy, and you stepped up to join them. Over your many weeks of training, you've learned the skills needed to save lives, the challenges you'll be facing, and you did so safely here at the Academy with every guideline in place to protect your own health as well. I'm incredibly proud and grateful for all you have done so far, and I want you to know that you are going to make an immediate impact in the lives of your patient. The department needs you, our city needs you, and you will most certainly answer the call for help. Each day, you wear the uniform of the FDNY. You represent the very best this city has to offer. I hope you enjoy and savor this day because all of you have earned it. Congratulations once again to each of you. Stay healthy, stay safe, and thank you all for all you will do going forward to continue to strengthen the FDNY, the bravest and the best. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Our next speaker is the Chief of EMS Operations, Lillian Bonsignor. And good morning to you. What a special day. And welcome. And special welcome to all of those who are joining us virtually. Uh, something new and different, but it's a wonderful experience today. This is truly an incredible day. Today, we have 153 new emergency medical technicians graduating in our ranks. It really takes your breath away to look at so many men and women who are dedicating their lives to this profession. You are at the beginning of a story that will be told for years to come. You now join the ranks of the most extraordinary and dedicated first responders I have ever known, and you are joining during a once-in-a-lifetime global pandemic. I've loved this job for nearly three decades, and each day, I get to witness and confirm my love for what each of our EMS members do for this city. We are people of compassion. We are people of commitment. And we are people of service. Today, you are all committing yourselves to saving lives, caring for others, and providing the highest quality of pre-hospital emergency medical care to millions of New Yorkers and visitors. This job is a calling, and we are so grateful it has called all of you. I am so proud of all of our graduates. Having spent some time at the EMS Academy, I had a unique opportunity to personally witness the hard work that went, went into getting all of you ready for today and for your, your transformation from new recruits to outstanding members of EMS. I saw all of you out there responding to your DIs, marching in all kinds of weather. You ran when it was raining, and you ran when it was hot, but you never gave up. We saw you getting there early and staying late. We watched you put in all the hard work that was necessary to be successful. When it got difficult, 
You helped each other. Nothing could stop you. I also watched how hard your instructors worked to bring you along and teach you the skills you need to save lives. I've watched your DEIs teach you all the lessons that are involved in teamwork, integrity, and honor. And let me just take a moment to thank Chief Escobar and his entire team at the EMS Bureau of Training at Fort Totten. An extraordinary job each and every day. Becoming the best of EMS begins here. They are an amazing group of dedicated people, and you see the results of their hard work in this group of graduates assembled here today. As always, this type of ceremony marks a great time for EMS because it is filled with so many possibilities. As I see it, every graduation is a new beginning of endless possibilities. It's a new start, but you're bringing with you all of the training, all the experiences, and all the dedication that got you here. The FDNY Emergency Medical Service is so incredibly important for our city and the people that we serve. You are the busiest and without question, the absolute best. I encourage everyone here who wears this uniform to take on the challenge to be even greater moving forward. Congratulations again to you and your families who supported you throughout this entire process. Be well, be safe, and be EMS. Congratulations. Thank you, Chief. I will now invite Dr. Benjamin Zamar to come to the podium, say a few words, and then administer the Declaration of Geneva. Thank you. My role here today is to administer the Declaration of Geneva to you, the graduates. Before I do, I just want to say a few words. Congratulations for all you've accomplished to get to this day. You should be very proud of the complex knowledge and skills you have mastered along the path to become emergency medical technicians. As an EMS physician, I keep some medical equipment in my car in case I'm the first one at an incident, and almost all the equipment I carry is basic life support, EMT-level equipment, because even as an emergency physician, the most lives that are saved are saved by FDNY EMS doing BLS, doing basic life support. They're saved by you, stopping bleeding with tourniquets, doing good CPR, reviving patients with naloxone from opioid overdoses. EMTs are really the ones who save lives. So remember those foundational skills, but be ready for changes in medicine. Many of those treatments I just mentioned were not EMT level skills a few years ago. CPR protocols change, new challenges like COVID constantly arise, but you will be ready. I look forward to working with you all. We will now administer the oath of Geneva. Hey, right, on your feet. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I. Congratulations. Hey, take 
a seat. Thank you, Dr. Zabar. We are now ready for the presentation of graduates. We'll first acknowledge the academic achievers. Please stand up when you hear your name called. EMT, Deontay Moore, academic achiever, Alpha Company. EMT, Michael Brockett, academic achiever, Bravo Company. Congratulations to both of our academic achievers. Ladies and gentlemen, four members of this class have served our country as veterans of the United States military. Veterans, please stay, stand as I say your name. EMT, Michael Costarelli, the United States Army. EMT, Richard McCarthy, United States Marine Corps. EMT, Adam Pumali, United States Marine Corps. And EMT, Kevin Rosas, United States Marine Corps. Thank you for your service. Veterans, take seats. Graduates, as I call your name, please stand in place to be acknowledged. EMT, Adam Acevedo. EMT, Joseph Alfaro. EMT, Dawson Alvarez. EMT, Kinesia Andall. EMT, Darlene Anderson. EMT, Angel, Angel Perea. EMT, Brian Arias. EMT, Antonio Arroyo. EMT, Mena Aziz. EMT, Jason Badua. EMT, Travis Barrett. EMT, Tiffany Benjamin. EMT, Menhaz Buyan. EMT, Joseph Brown. EMT, Brendan Burns. EMT, Zamira Busi. EMT, John Butcher. EMT, Alyssa Calderon. EMT, Jerry Castano. EMT, Jason Castillo. EMT, Nansira Sisi. EMT, Michael Coakley. EMT, Chris Cook. EMT, Robert Coppola. EMT, Sean Cornell Shorig. EMT, Francisco Cornier. EMT, Michael Costarelli. EMT, Tyler Coyle. EMT, Ty Crane. EMT, Joseph Cuco. EMT, Christopher Cuenca. EMT, Daniel Cusack. EMT, Kenneth De La Cruz. EMT, Vanessa DeLeon. EMT, Nicholas Delavecchia. EMT, Leonardo Desario. EMT, Anthony Diaz. EMT, Tyler DiLorenzo. EMT, John Duffy. 
EMT William Edler. EMT Dylan Esposito. EMT Jordan Evans. EMT Anna Fajardo. EMT James Fasano. EMT Antonio Feliciano. EMT Carlo Fanazzo. EMT Michael Finn. EMT Michael Flores. EMT Tyrell Ganey. EMT Joseph Geldmacher. EMT Shane George. EMT Dennis Golden. EMT Yina Gomez. EMT Candice Gonzalez. EMT Jason Gonzalez. EMT Christopher Gonzalez Urena. EMT Jasmine Green. EMT Sean Griffin. EMT David Gutnick. EMT Kathleen Guzman. EMT James Hardy. EMT Jebba Hassan. EMT Kenyatta Hayward. EMT Brad Hepburn. EMT Omar Hernandez. EMT Ryan Hollywood. EMT Jason Hutchinson. EMT John Ianuzzi. EMT Ryan Infante. EMT Joseph Erlinger. EMT Shakela Jardine. EMT Zachary Johnson. EMT Matthew Kalbacher. EMT Mark Kelly. EMT Yawa Kudzi. EMT Steven Lanzalata. EMT Jeremy Levy. EMT Shoshana Lewis. EMT Farad Lillis. EMT Zaquan Lindsay. EMT Mozum Lone. EMT Ross Lynch. EMT Michael Maniscalco. EMT Carl Materna. EMT Michael Matthews. EMT Nolan May Odell. EMT Jackson Mazaregos. EMT Richard McCarthy. EMT Devin McDaniels. EMT Mackenzie Kelly. EMT Nathaniel McCoy. EMT Andrew McMurray. EMT Devin Melgar. EMT Eden Menegad. EMT Christian Meza. EMT Anthony Michelli. EMT Noraldine Milad. EMT James Miller. EMT Bryden Modzaluski. EMT Richard Modzaluski. Twins. EMT Matthew Monahan. EMT Ashley Montanez. EMT Lytrell Morales. EMT Catherine Moran. EMT Alvin Muka. EMT Ryan O'Reilly. EMT Kevin O'Sullivan. EMT Michael Panegua. EMT Sebastian Perea. EMT Gilbert Perez. 
EMT, Adam Pumali. EMT, Christopher Puma. EMT, Stephen Ramos. EMT, Ryan Ricknow. EMT, Christian Rivas. EMT, Melissa Roberts. EMT, Jeremy Rondon. EMT, Kevin Rosas. EMT, Ryan Ruiz. EMT, Ryan Ruaco. EMT, Michael Saladino. EMT, McGuellen Santana. EMT, Devin Santiago. EMT, Michelle Santos. EMT, Matthew Sicharin. EMT, Thomas Skinner. EMT, Salvatore Sportiello. EMT, Thomas Stapleton. EMT, Anthony Steinheimer. EMT, Christian Tamarez. EMT, Clay Tejada. EMT, Kosova Teplani. EMT, Emmanuel Titus. EMT, Dylan Toth. EMT, Barry Vanterpool. EMT, Amanda Vasquez. EMT, Anaya Vega. EMT, Michael Verdi. EMT, Owen Waters. EMT, Kurt Wesch. EMT, Abigail Williams. EMT, Ryan Williams. EMT, Jonathan Wilson. IMT, EMT, I'm sorry, Kimon Wilson. EMT, Tylek Wilson, not triplets. EMT, Stacy Ziegler. EMT, Irina Zagallo. And EMT, Patrick Zimma. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice round of applause for all of our new FDNY EMTs. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, I will now turn the class over to drill instructor Brian Ahern from the EMS Academy for the count on deck. On behalf of the FDNY EMS Academy, it is my honor and privilege to present to you the first probational training class of 2020. They are highly motivated, skilled, ready to serve, protect, and provide medical care to the people of this great city. Permission to present the count on deck, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remain standing for the benediction to be delivered by FDMY Chaplain, Reverend Ann Cansfield. The masks you're wearing and I'm wearing are very useful because no one will see if you laugh at this joke or not. But the reason why I didn't take my max off earlier was I didn't want to confuse you thinking I was the chief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Don't ever forget that you are the people that answer the most urgent prayers in our city. Whether or not you believe in the presence of the divine, we believe in your presence and that you work miracles. When people call 911, they're praying for help. And you are the ones who respond. Thank you for always responding. As you depart, may God bless you and keep you. May God's face, unmasked, greet you and smile upon you. May God be gracious to you and give you peace this day and always. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Cansfield. How about one more big round of applause for all of our graduates here today? Come on, give yourselves a round of applause. That's right. Now, I'd like all of our new EMTs to turn around, face that camera, and wave to your families at home and let them know that you're here today. Turn around. Go ahead. Give them a big wave. Let them know. Welcome to the FDNY family. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Fire Commissioner, the Chief of Department, and all the members of our dais, we want to congratulate all of our new EMTs. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of your day. Hey, take seats.